Mercury is just about to spend a very long time in the sign of Capricorn from December 6th to February 11th. And this happens to be so long because of a retrogradation that begins on December 29th. This means that he is going to bear down and focus on Capricorn themes for the world and for you in your sky, depending on which of the 12 houses of the Zodiac corresponds to your whole sign house Capricorn zone. That will be based on your rising sign. And I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lori Lothian. I'm a Western tropical astrologer using ancient whole sign houses and divine timing tools such as Time Lords. And I love the minor asteroids. We're going to talk today about this retrograde of Mercury from December 6th. I mean, this movement of Mercury into Capricorn on December the 6th, but then retrograding from the 29th on word to January 18th in the middle of it. So this, this is a very long story. There'll be a whole separate video on the retrograde, but the gist of what this means for you in your life to have this earthy retrogradation and earthy transit of Mercury for this many weeks in the Capricorn sky zone, it has significance. Wherever Mercury retrogrades, he spends more time, more focus on, and he's closer to earth because of the retrograde. And therefore, synchronicity, magic, and miracles, and power. Like you can feel him. He's close to earth, right? So we're going to talk about how that might play out for you. So let's get rolling. I also talk about how it can play out for the markets. The stock markets have to do with Mercury. Marketing, merchandise, mer mercantile, and markets, including the stock markets. And when Mercury retrogrades, there usually are price corrections and pullbacks. Not always, but quite commonly. If we do have your classic Santa Claus rally, in which all of a sudden everybody's all happy or there, there's lots of action because people are selling losses and stuff like that. And the stock market's bubbling away and there's a lot of seemingly recovery of the market. Then I'm a little bit more wary around the December 29th retrograde to January 18th that there will be indeed a price correction or pullback. And we do have a Capricorn new moon as well conjunct Hygieia, the goddess of healing in the sign of the Capricorn in the early part of December. That can also mean or on the December 23rd, I should say, they could also be associating itself with a correction, a healing or a pullback in the collective stock markets, et cetera. Um, so I don't trust a rally at Christmas. And then we tend to have what's called a Santa Claus rally. So I think it will be a false rally and it will <clears throat> retrench with a retrograde Mercury. Now, legislation rules and agreements regarding the markets, you know, FTX, had collapsed and now all regulars, regulators are saying these unregulated crypto exchanges like FTX need to be regulated. And these cryptocurrencies need to be regulated because they were confabulated coins out of thin air with no intrinsic value. And there was um, shenanigans going on. And so I think the Mercury retrograde story uh, could also just Mercury December 6th to February 11th, including the retrograde, can be a going back over by governments and uh, regulators of stock markets in the United States in particular, the idea of regulating the markets around crypto trading. Now that's antithetical to what people consider crypto to be, but crypto has also gotten into a place of a terrible crypto contagion from the collapse of FTX. And so at this point, the regulators will have a good argument that it's time to regulate the crypto markets. Okay. Now let's talk about this story for our, each of our signs and what it may mean. So I'm gonna show you the sky. Let me pull that up for us. I also wanna note something really interesting about this uh, Mars ingress into Capricorn. And uh, for you geeks of asteroids and Kuiper belt objects and weird stuff like that, there is this body called Ixion and that's two degrees of Capricorn. Well, we see the ingress of Mercury at 000 on December 6th, 2.20 p.m. Vancouver, Canada time into the sign of Capricorn. And he's really traveling in a close relationship to Ixion, the rule breaker and the transgressor centaur, who basically has a terrible reputation for murdering his father-in-law and trying to have an affair with the wife of Zeus, but also is the father of the centaur uh, race of centaurs, the grandfather of the race of centaurs. So it's a, he's a, it's a nefarious tale, but he's often associated with somebody who dares to break rules, you know, and transgress the norms and do it his way. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I'm wondering about that because 
certainly the FTX story about transgressing the norms and breaking the rules. And the uh, uh, Sam Bankman Fried story is very much connected to a transgressor archetype like Ixion. And so with Ixion here in Capricorn and now Mercury meeting up with the Ixion story, and they're traveling in proximity to each other. I do think that a big piece of what Mercury is doing in Capricorn is it's going to be about the crypto contagion and the deregulation or the regulation questions. And also, of course, um, there will be a questioning of the founder of the whole thing, FTX and the people involved. And there may be uh, investigations into that. So just keep that in mind because Capricorn, especially in the US Sibley chart represents um, the money house, the second house of money and, and the nation's cash flow. And it, as a principal, Capricorn represents currencies, power structures, bureaucracies, and uh, financial institutions. All right. So we do see a lot of stuff going on. And I do know that, for instance, the um, Donald Trump's uh, tax, uh, tax forms have been uh, ordered by the courts now, unless there's an appeal to be released to an, a, com a committee of investigators in the government. And that was on hold for a long time. And now that is also being released. And would Donald Trump break the rules on his taxes? You bet your bottom dollar, I'm not a conservative, I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I'm just saying. And so there will be Mercury news and information, Capricorn expose about the transgressions that others have done in finance, the land of finance. And that includes your taxes. And so it won't be an easy and fun story because very much possibly people are going to realize that Donald Trump's tax stories are a little bit messy, probably. I mean, the IRS will punish the people who are totally, totally illegal, but we'll see what happens. I mean, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, so the Ixion is that strange little symbol right here that looks like dark, uh, barbell. He is moving fast and he is moving direct and Mercury is with him. So we're seeing breaking news stories uh, in direct motion, fast speed to do with financial markets and power structures and institutions of banking and even governance Capricorn. Okay, that's one thought I have. You can see that Venus will be catching up to Mercury, but she isn't there yet. She doesn't receive... Uh, the he doesn't move to Capricorn until I think around the 11th of the month of December. So it's a Mercury story. He's the one there and he's ruled by Saturn. Now, Saturn is an Aquarius, which is a Saturn's home sign, but also in aversion to this narrative, not witnessing it properly. Sorry, I've got a lot of minor asteroids in here, but I'm not going to erase them now. And um, we won't worry about that. We're just going to say it's Minerva, the goddess of wisdom and knowledge, FYI. But this is Saturn and Saturn is looking over at it, but not really participating. So even though Mercury is dispensing news stories and information, uh, and he could prop the markets up a bit by going forward and fast here until he goes retrograde on December 29th in a Santa Claus rally, Saturn has no oversight because Saturn, who's also the rules and regulations person, especially for um, society, um, is also in aversion to this part of the chart, which means even though there might be momentum to try to instate rules and regulations, they won't actually be implemented, I don't think, in the window of time that Mercury is here, which lasts until February, January, no, sorry, which lasts until February 11th. Part of that would be that to do that legislation, you need like, you know, a sitting Congress uh, and all of that, and there will be a Christmas break. So a lot of the action won't happen anyway until the new year around legislating the markets or cryptocurrencies or regulating them or instating uh, guardrails for things going off the rails <clears throat> like they just did uh, in the crypto universe. Now, you know, crypto has function, FYI, right? I mean, it can be a way of ledger, of, you know, a decentralized ledgerization of, of exchanges of assets and stuff, but it also had become a bubble, just like the tech bubble of speculation. And that bubble has most definitely and permanently burst. All right, um, continuing on. I would say also, as Mercury makes his journey through here and gets ready to retrograde, and I'll do a separate retrograde video on the 29th of December, there's no doubt about it. We'll see things like a lot of news stories around the markets and very fast moving news stories at that, but also we'll likely very well see something to do with <clears throat> um, a, a rally in the stock markets as a general theme. And then new moon on Hygieia in Capricorn on the 23rd of the month of 
December could begin the slowing down, if not the turnaround that Mercury will initiate on December 29th, saying it is a good idea for us to get um, our heads around the actual value of an equity or a stock, or you know, look at the actual data regarding recession or inflation. Now, or you know, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> now I'm getting this pretty close to December 29th right now, and you can see that Mercury is is getting ready to station retrograde, which will be at 24 degrees of Capricorn, is within three three degrees of Pluto. Mercury Pluto is to do with power and money, power and markets, power and um, governments news and information about power in those areas as well. So we may have a station retrograde that has stories in the news cycle, especially secrets, like Pluto represents things that are hidden. Pluto also can represent silver and precious metals, and there could be a price turnaround coming in that area as Mercury gets ready to turn around after coming close to Pluto, precious metals especially. Um, all metals actually will be included in the Pluto story here, if you're into the markets. And then he will at 24 station at 24 Capricorn and go backwards. So that's just a general thought here. He'll be backwards until January 18th when he will station direct at eight degrees of Capricorn. That's a lot of cap territory being covered um, by Mercury at the time. And now Venus being here and near the end of the year, just around uh, Christmas time, I think it's even New Year's Eve, Venus will conjunct Pluto. Um, there's a lot of energy with the goddess of money involved here as well. So we can definitely see currency markets and um, price corrections around crypto, but also around regular uh, prices of currencies happening at the end of the at the end of December, you could expect like a downdraft in certain currencies, maybe particularly the U.S. dollar. I fully expect with the Jupiter return on the U.S. dollar chart to see the U.S. dollar weaken dramatically in 2023 in the spring. But that's just my assumption. Could be wrong. Don't take my advice. Let's go through all the signs and talk about this. I know it's a messy sky because I've got a lot of planets in here, but we'll just go through a general um, idea of what this can mean for each of the signs. And this is a short video. I tend to do short videos on Mercury for a reason um, because Mercury is such a fast moving planet. Now, there will be a retrograde video just about the retrograde and going into a lot more depth about it. I will say one thing Mercury's retrogrades are all in Earth signs in 23 until the end of the year when he hits a bit of Sag territory next year. So he's really working the area of everyone's sky that has to do with the earth or the resources or the practical and the financial areas of our reality because retrogrades are where he's close to earth and therefore more powerful and uh, more influential on our earthly celestial sphere it's earthly sphere of activity as it pertains to Mercury's celestial sphere. Okay, so let's get storyizing here. So for your Aries people, this is a Mercury transit that lasts December 6th to February 11th in your career house and your reputation house as well. And in essence, you're really focused here, especially with the real rule breaker Ixion participating. You're perhaps focused in some way with the themes that have a lot to do, especially early in December, how you want to break some rules and bust out and do it your way in your career. And that could be very true December 6th through to about December 14th, 15th or so. But the long arc story is that Mercury over two months because of the retrograde window, um, December 29th to January 11th, is helping you to message, to market, to merchandise, to sell to negotiate, to deal in the area of career and ambition and success. And he's really grinding down here for that. He's really working it for you. And so it is an ideal time if your career needs an up level to negotiate a raise, to negotiate a deal for a promotion, um, to, um, to make some kind of um, changes that you might want to make in the way you message things from your career platform. Now, you know, for me, for example, I'm an Aries sun and moon and I work my, my magic with you guys on YouTube, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll be doing some kind of renegotiating the way I do my messaging. And that will be true because I'm thinking of doing something like a weekly YouTube live on the same day, same 
probably the same time and doing live spot readings for people <clears throat> as well, maybe like a, a week ahead every Monday. And I just want to add a spice up what I'm doing here because I don't want to become stale in my own excitement for my channel. I've never done a YouTube live. So that would be Mercury helping me find new ways to message from my career platform. And lastly, there's a possibility this being a house that's traditionally associated with the father in um, the tradition I use, that you may find <clears throat> some communications with a father or father patriarchal or superior figure ongoing through this window of time are really important to you. Certainly when Mercury is connected with Pluto uh, near um, is near December 29th. You could be in communications with somebody of great power and authority. They could be positively influencing the direction of your career. Then when Mercury will retrograde, you'll go back over some old ground to see what revisions you need to make in order to then go forward again, January 18th onward. But it's all about your career. All right. That's the, the gist of the story for you. <clears throat> So Taurus, sun, moon, and rising sign. The energy of the sky suggests that Mercury in his long December 6th to February 11th stay in your ninth house. Some of you are traveling. <clears throat> You've got a bug to go travel, <clears throat> especially to foreign lands. And the reason is that Mercury is the patron protecting planet of the traveler. And also he's up there in a place where you, it's about applying for a visa or negotiating a deal, a, a travel deal or something like that. For academically inclined Tauruses, there's a lot of academic focus. And I think with him going backwards, December 29th to January 18th, it's just an e easy delineation would be, <clears throat> if you're not traveling to a foreign country that you've been to before, then you're going back over some assessments on the details regarding an academic environment choice like college or university, applying, getting accepted, putting your applications in, uh, changing your majors or things like that. Um, if you have any court cases pending and you need to see a judge, here comes the judge. At least Venus is up there bonifying things and helping you win financially in legal matters. And Mercury definitely can help with that as well. But when he's retrograde, he might have to go back and renegotiate some kind of legalese regarding a court situation. I do like Venus supporting the narrative, however, and she won't be there forever. She'll be there till about December. 11th so you've got some superpowers December 11th did I say December 11th I mean January 11th <clears throat> you got some su super powered Venus narratives let's just check when Venus leaves um I know this I have to think my brain will come back online um yeah Venus will be out of the Capricorn oh I can't remember when so I'm gonna stick to Mercury talk about what I remember um She's still there, obviously. Oh, yeah, she gets there into Capricorn around January 11th. Okay, so yeah, and then she'll be there for up to a month. Okay, so you've got some support from her um, here to uh, win or succeed or be lucky in court and legal matters and also academic matters as well. Um, this in Vedic astrology is the house of the father. Pluto is going to station in a conjunction to Mercury will station to retrograde 29th conjunct Pluto, the god of death. Could be the death of a relationship or the death of a father or father like figure. Challenge issue point coming up on December 29th because it starts with a Mercury retrograde. It could be an older health challenge or power struggle challenge with the patriarchal figure. And you're just going to go back and go over some old ground in that story. And uh, long story short, though, travel, academics, oh, book publishing. If you're like wanting to write a book, sell a book, find an agent, find it. This is all really good stuff for that. I mean, really, December 6th to February 11th, Mercury is up there helping you negotiate a deal. All right, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. What we're seeing here is seeing Mercury traveling through your eighth house and he'll be there in the house of other people's money from December 6th to February 11th. It can bring in inheritances or, or the finalizing of the details around the legal ease of an inheritance. It can open up um, opportunities to deal and wheel regarding stocks and stock markets, maybe buy or sell. I do have a some Ethereum basically through a staking process that I'll probably sell during this window. Mercury will help me sell it because it'll retrograde December 29th. It would be like going back to sell something I've had for two years. Yes. So there's that maybe a little Christmas bonus money because every crypto is down, but I had staked it. So it was all stuck in there. Um, getting interest. <clears throat> 
what else can I say? Mercury retrograde here could be news or information around money. Um, and just Mercury here can be news or information about money. This includes taxes, tax rebates, um, uh, uh, inheritance money, bank loans and mortgages, um, and in stock investment monies. So this area is very opened up for you with that long Mercury transit, December 6th to February 11th. Because Mercury is connecting with Venus here and Venus has got boss babe shoulder pads and she's very good in this Capricorn place financially for you. And because you also have rule breaking Ixion there, especially in the beginning, December 6th to the 15th, Mercury is pretty close to Ixion. Um, you might want to break some rules, right? <laughs> Transgress the rules around other people's money. Um, but if it came to breaking rules, be careful there, right? Just be careful that you don't break a rule that you later get caught breaking regarding legal money matters, let's put it that way. And um, definitely there can be around the 29th of December as Mercury stations conjunct Pluto, um, some kind of powering up, but going backwards at the same time regarding uh, resources of the eighth house, chunky in money resources. So money can come back to you that was owed to you from the past that you didn't even, maybe that you wrote off or thought would amount to nothing. Uh, especially during the beginning of that retrogradation on the 29th of December and into February 11th. Anything else I want to, and I would just say Gemini, of course, this is your ruler Mercury. So what he does, does matter a lot to you. So we pay attention to him keenly uh, as he's moving through your eighth house. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising sign the energy of Mercury uh, from December 6th to February 11th in Capricorn is a very strong indication that you're going to be focused on communicating with your marriage partner, significant other business partner, or doing a lot of legal legalese because signing co contracts and agreements, documents, that's very seventh house stuff, agreements, vows, oaths, including marriage, including legal contracts. So for some reason, there's a lot of focus on that part of your sky. And it can, as I said, be just a lot of communication and a lot of negotiation and conversation going on with your significant other. And it can be business and love significant others as well. Uh, you do have Venus here and this strengthens your um, relationship, your marriage, but it also strengthens your your partner's life as well. They could be doing better financially uh, during this window of this retrograde uh, or this whole transit, December 6th to February 11th. Um, I do think that the rule breaker Ixion is participating early in the narrative when Mercury first enters in uh, to this part of the sky. So December 6th to let's say the 12th or so, or 15th even, you may find that your information news or conversations about or from or with your significant other are very destabilizing and rule breaking, you know, whatever that means. I don't know, um, you know, transgressing, rule breaking, destabilizing discussions with a significant business or love partner. And um, so don't, that may not be the most fun one, that part of the transit, there's no doubt about it. You'll go back over old ground to, uh, with a partner or they'll go back over some old ground in their own lives. Um, and the conversations from December 29th to maybe um, about January 18th might be very intense as you guys negotiate something about the terms of your business and love and or love relationship. Finally, messages, emails, phone calls, news from the past about a former significant other spouse or long-term partner uh, may be emerging for you, of course, during the retrograde on the 29th to the January 18th time. So Leo, sun, moon, and rising sign, we have a Mercury retrograde from a uh, Mercury, Mercury's, uh, sorry, Mercury's playing in your sixth house <laughs> hey, uh, for a while, right? December 6th of February 11th, uh, really good for getting down to the grinding details of your daily work life and health routines and working out more precise and detailed and focused ways to be healthy. But nonetheless, Mercury here can also be information and news coming through about a job, about work, about a job opportunity with Venus there. This could be an opportunity for new work and it could be very lucrative. Venus got bus, babe, 
shoulder pads, you're excited, power for Pluto, wealth. There's a wealth yoga at the end of the month here. So getting wealthy through a job opening opportunity or event uh, near the end of the month. And then with Mercury here, there's a lot of negotiating going on too. You might be negotiating with your boss, your coworkers or work stuff. Um, Mercury here can be bringing some solid new developments in your health to do with research study of ways to be healthy or some news or information that positively impacts your health. Um, I say positively because Venus being so close at hand, things tend to be working out in this area. And even Hygieia is a part of a moon, a Capricorn new moon on the 23rd. Um, just before Mercury stations retrograde. So you're really healing your, your health stuff during this Mercury transit. And certainly the retrograde can bring old colleagues, coworkers, or office space people back to you through emails, phone calls, and conversations, as well as a return, like an old lab report comes back, you know, that you never got the results and now you get them or you know, something to do with your health, but from the connected to your past or a good health result on a test you take that you've taken before. Again, this is more true during the retrograde December 29th to January 18th. <clears throat> Certainly, lastly, but not leastly, you know, Mercury will activate that North Node Uranus, your 10th house of career. And there can be some really exciting developments during this time uh, where you're going to have some unexpected but totally thrilling career opportunities and developments arise as a Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Mm, so, Virgo, you rising, especially Sun and Moon secondarily. And if you're listening in the live chat, because I'm doing this live chat premiere thing with you, please hit my like button and help the channel grow. And I didn't even promote anything in this video. Check the description box for all the stuff I have going on. I just went straight into the story without any promotion. Did I even introduce myself <laughs> at the beginning? Okay, because I'm recording this at the end of a long work day after I did a bunch of videos for my 2023 year, I had all signs. So um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for hitting my like button, guys, in, in my live premiere. Okay, so let's keep going. I am recording this on December 2nd, goes to the Patreon community, but you guys will probably get this on December 5th or so. Moving forward, um, so Virgo, this is Mercury. Mercury is the Lord of your sign, just like the Gemini. So it's important to watch what he's doing. And he's going to be doing a lot of trining flowy 2023 stuff for you, where all of his retrogrades and earth signs trying your identity. So this is going to be a lovely year for you ahead for sure uh, for all the Virgo rising most, especially now that's 23. My all signs videos are coming out, but anyway, I would like to say that this long transit of Mercury in the fifth house, from December 6th to February 11th can be a lot of communications going on in general with a lover or your children. Now that said during the retrograde, get, expect a past former lover or boyfriend, girlfriend to come out of the woodwork from your past to connect with you probably December 29th to January 18th. If you're single, all this Mercury action with Venus here as well, and Pluto and Cupido passion, and you want to be in a relationship, this could bring a new relationship to you during this time. And if so, it could be very, very practical and grounded, but very exciting in some ways as well. And um, near the end, like New Year's Eve, there's this Venus Pluto conjunction, which can go really deep in sexuality and love and all of that. And we'll have at the same time Mercury station retrograde. So I would say for some of you, be careful, you don't fall into bed on years even a drunken stupor with an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> but something like that could happen here if that's not what you want be more careful um you're going back over old grounds in terms of your business enterprise. If you're an entrepreneur, I think some of this will look like digging into new ways and means and methodologies and researching better strategies and going back and <clears throat> revising some of your strategy around your business. And if you're an artist, you're definitely getting down with the muse here because Venus and Mercury and Pluto and Cupido and transgressor uh, Ixion are all ganging up in a very muse driven house, breaking the rules of the art form that you use and doing it your own way. And there is that new moon, which we'll have a whole video on in Capricorn um, at zero Capricorn on the 23rd of December on Hygieia, the goddess of healing. You may be healing a relationship with a child. Real Mercury is traveling through here, healing a relationship with your sexuality, finding a health protocol to improve your sexual life. Uh, healing your something to do with your romance and, and your, your enthusiasm and your creativity as well. 
Anything else I want to say? It all trines you. Mercury is an ongoing trine to your body. And in some ways he can fortify your, your strength of health and feeling good about your life during this transit. And he does like to be social and, and Mercury can be quite fun sometimes. So you might be having very practical fun as he's Capricorning through there um, with your children and with your beloveds and lovers and friends and stuff like that. Venus represents friends. So more fun coming to you as a Virgo between December the 6th and February 11th. 11th playful mischievous fun libra sun moon and rising sign um we look at this venus i mean this mercury transit through your fourth house from december 6th to february 11th as you focus quite heavily on land property and real estate marketing merchandising and selling negotiating and deal making around land property purchases real estate it could involve tenants as well, especially, you know, with stuff going on in your sixth house or you let renting or leasing or buying or selling. All of those things are happening because when Mercury is moving through here, he will earth trine Uranus North Node in the house of bank loans, mortgages and investment monies. And you could have some financial popping energies or financial exciting developments too during this long transit. Now, if you want to sell a house, Mercury moving through Capricorn is ideal. You can actually get a really good offer and it will go well December 6th to February 11th. And of course, with this retrograde window, December 29th to January 18th, you could go back and renegotiate a new price or resell or sell something you sold before or try to buy something you tried to buy before and now it goes through. So it's good for all of those things. Um, and I do think that at the end of this whole thing, when he stations direct to go retrograde on the 29th and just a couple of days later, Vita conjuncts Pluto. There's a pile up there of intensity around money and wealth and property. Um, you definitely want to read the fine print on any deal making, signing and negotiating you do um, during the retrograde cycle. But don't be put off by that because this is like a long two month transit and you could definitely financially benefit through marketing, merchandising, selling and property and real estate investments and stuff like that. Okay. That's one of the themes for you, for sure. Oh, finally, you know, Mercury, a lot of talking, communicating, writing, emailing, phone calling, um, and, and ideating from your home and home base during that time. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising sign. Well, you have Mercury from December 6th to February 11th in your third house of siblings and travel, short distance travel, um, commuting as well, but short distance travel. Now, Mercury is the patron protector of travelers and he's always involved in travel in some way. Um, so you may be journeying or traveling quite a bit or at least somewhere, Scorpio rising, especially during December 6th to February 11th window. And if you travel December 20, 9th to January 18th, you'll go back to travel to a place you have been before and go back to oh, an old ground place. Um, we, we have a lot of sibling energy that comes very activated. You may see your siblings, communicate with siblings, spend more time with them, including extended aunts, uncles, cousins, and nieces and nephews. And if you want to learn something, Mercury is a god of research, knowledge, learning, study, you know, investigate, like study the mind. And this is a, that kind of house where you could take a, a course, a skills-based learning course, especially given that you have Cupido here and all of that, uh, that you're passionate about, like, you know, something you've always wanted to do. Like, I want to learn how to play the guitar. Anyway, December the 6th to February 11th, that would be great. Um, or deepen some kind of learning you've already started December 29th to January 18th. And you could also hear from by phone call or emails, extended family members during that retrograde as well. Um, this is your online world, like websites and social media platforms. And certainly you'll spend a lot of time communicating on those platforms and maybe redoing and revising and rewording some of those platforms, including a website if you have one. And with Venus there as well, Venus is saying, well, let's make it beautiful and let's make it productive and financially lucrative. And there is a moon that will have a whole separate video on on December 23rd with Hygieia in Capricorn, you're healing a sibling relationship, new beginnings, uh, healing something to do with your online life or your, your um, things that you're learning, providing healing. You could even take a course in healing for some Scorpios with this particular transit.
Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign, you have this movement of Mercury for six weeks or so, two months, actually, December 6th to February 11th, through your um, Cappy sky, Capricorn sky. It's all about your money. It's all about your, your possessions. It's all about your paycheck and earnings and salary and stuff like that. So that's the basic. Yeah, you got to look at that, right? And there is a lot of flow between the North Node Uranus and your sixth house of work and, you know, the workspace as well and the job space. So it looks like there could be some really good money developments happening for some of you between December 6th and February 11th. And who knows, you could even have a, um, a, a an increase of resources financially during that window because Venus is there. Um, and Pluto brings power and wealth as well. And that happens to be very true around January 1st when Venus and Pluto come together on New Year's Eve. And so you got to have a really like a nice little, like this could be a, what do you call it? Like a, also could be like a, a year end bonus or something uh, for, by your employer. This is some really good money stuff going on here for you. Now, one of the things that I say is that, you know, there's a retrograde period, then um, we're going to go back over something to do with possessions and money. Now, Mercury, that's going to be um, December 29th to January 18th, Mercury marketing, merchandising and selling very much could say selling a possession and the retrograde could be because you tried to sell it before, but didn't or thought you would, but didn't. So you may divest because you sell a possession that can bring you some chunky money or some money gay as well so if you thought oh i wanted to sell that car i wanted to sell that piece of furniture and i never did or i tried and it didn't work you probably probably will a lot of you be selling something for sure um i know a, ca a sad son who probably will sell a sports car during that time so this is a retrograde uh, sales opportunity december 29th to january 18th if it's something you considered selling before Conversely, an old possession may come back to you through a phone call or email where someone says, you know, that's a thing I, I borrowed from you here. I'm going to give it back. Next thing you know, your sofa or your, your giveaway possession has returned or the borrowed thing returns to you. And lastly, you can negotiate money deals and financial deals really well during this entire transit, December 6th to February 11th. Hmm. That's it. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. Well, this is happening in you, the house of you, your body, your identity. You are Mercuryized here. Mercury is spending a lot of time with you. So certainly you're going to be doing a lot of phone calls, emails, talking, uh, negotiating, deal-making energies. You are purveying, doing, and involved in that. December 6th to February 11th, you're very busy communicating. Now, you may also be very busy with new ideas as well. And all of that said, and with all of this intensity going on here, you are, you're the one who's prone to be the transgressor and the rule breaker. So just keep in mind, you can break certain rules with impunity and other ones you can't. So how you decide to transgress and break rules with, you know, Capricorn having a uh, ICSI on there uh, is up to you, but just be careful. Nonetheless, Venus in the first house makes you more persuasive, charismatic, and, and this is your yearly time to shine when you want to get what you want, to persuade, to seduce, to be you know popular. Your appeal is high during this time, thanks to Venus's participation. And you know, near the end of December in particular, I mean, because she will leave um, Capricorn, uh, you know, in January, you know, near the end of December, you're going to find that you could have a very powerful moment of power and persuasion blended around New Year's Eve, where you are powerful, you are persuasive. All right. Mercury will station near that powerful Pluto that is yours to hold and behold and retrograde. And you may also go back and negotiate something and be in charge of negotiating some kind of deal or some kind of opportunity between December 29th and the 11th of the month. Certainly, um, given there's a lot of flow from the fifth house of money luck as well and speculation, some of this can be negotiating some kind of financial bonus points on the game board of life. I do, do want to say that you could have unexpected developments with one of your children during this retrograde and some of the messaging back and forth could be about and with a child or a lover. Okay. But not necessarily bad stuff, just unexpected because of Uranus here and Mercury also connecting with that Uranus as well. Hmm. That's about it. I, I, 
not to say you're just very busy. You are writing, speaking, communicating, negotiating, deal making, and thinking a lot <laughs> between December the 6th and February 11th. All righty, I'm an Aquarius rising. This is our story. Um, well, uh, this is the time of year where we have a Capricorn stellium every year, Aquarius is in our 12th house, December. And so we're very focused on being alone and having some downtime. And I always take time off from my readings a couple of weeks every Christmas. So that'll be happening. So there's a feeling we kind of unplug a bit every December as an Aquarius rising, especially sun and moon secondarily. And now we have this Mercury transit uh, of a God's long time, December 6th to February 11th in our 12th house. This is really good for backroom deals, negotiations, right, doing a writing project behind the scenes um, for a dream messages. Mercury is the messenger from uh, the dream messenger of the ancient world. And this is a house of dream, one of the house of dreams, nine and 12, your inner life, your meditations, your reveries, your downloads, your dream insights are profound. And so you need a dream journal during this time. I already started to feel it kicking in and, and you know, I can't even tell you my dreams lately. Um, messages and information correspondence with somebody in a foreign shore or foreign land can really pick up here. And especially with Mars in the house of romance, uh, you may be corresponding um, more with people at a distance um, far away shores, romantic partners in a distant place, things like that. Um, I would also say that if you want to increase your revenue through PayPal Stripe, this is kind of like your spice trade, foreign land, foreign shore, barter trade, third from the 10th house. So what I'm saying is for people like me who make money around the world from clients everywhere with PayPal Stripe account stuff, this is where Mercury marketing, merchandising, selling and markets can really amplify, especially with Venus and Pluto making a wealth yoga with Venus Pluto at the end of December, your revenue streams can increase during this transit. Even as you're taking downtime, you're, you're also increasing your revenue between December 6th and February 11th. When he retrogrades, you may revise your revenue structures, right? Or go over the book work, the booking, the, the books. Like I'll probably end up doing an early tax filing, you know, so that would be very Mercury retrograde between December 29th and January 11th. Um, or just looking at your numbers or something from revenue that you may generate through foreign shore land, international barter and trade. And lastly, Mercury is a patron of travel, tra travelers in the 12th house is a house of foreign shores, like nine out of 10 of you, nine out of 10, 10 chance that you're going to travel between December 6th and February 11th, somewhere you've been before. All right. Uh, and go back and do that travel again. And maybe during the retrograde, not necessarily, but it could also be that you plan the trip. Uh, between December 29th and January 18th. You don't have to take it. You like book the trip. And uh, that's the thing that Mercury would do, but it would be a foreign shore and foreign land. It wouldn't be a local area trip. Okay. And I think that's all I got for you. Pay attention to your dreams. Aquarius are going to be powerful nighttime dreams last but not least is the pisces sun moon and rising sign you guys are having this long transit of december 6th to february 11th mercury in your 11th house of good spirit a positive house of your dream hopes and dreams and wishes for your life friends that who benefit you allies benefactors people who want to support you your own ability to generate great financial gains from your career if you have a career in which you want to generate financial gains and mercury is here he helps you negotiate market merchandise and sell things he he helps you increase your worth. And with Venus, that's doubly true, participating. So you begin to sell or market something, you begin to increase your value of your revenue from a career path. You could also find communications are very busy between you and groups of belonging and friends, especially with Venus here. She's a goddess of friendship, Mercury, friend, lots of communications, correspondence and calls and emails or whatever you want going back and forth regarding friendship circles and groups of belonging. Venus loves to play and you want to be social and you're feeling very social here with Venus here, especially in December. And then Mercury is also the god of, you know, uh, arranging these things and getting everyone together and corresponding like so we all meet at the restaurant at a certain time at the very least it's a positive house and it's a playful place and even though it's Capricorn it's very serious um, you're probably having a good time and you might be spending money on earthly delights and time and fun and frivolity with friends with this transit now the retrograde window of time December 29th to January 18th for a lot of Pisces 
could mean you're going to go back and you're going to go back over some old connections, some old friends out of the woodwork coming back to you with phone calls or emails. You may renegotiate, revise some longer dream work, term dreams and plans. You may have a connection to an eldest sibling. This is a house of the eldest sibling. Maybe an eldest sibling will be phoning, calling, emailing, or even visiting you during this transit of December 6th to January 18th. I'd love to visit my, that's the retrograde, but even in, until February 11th, I'd love to visit my sister in the United States. And you never know, maybe I'll be making a journey to visit her during that. I'm um, the eldest sibling to my Pisces rising sister, although it is Ohio in winter. So I don't know if that's the best place to go. I'd be better off taking a trip to Mexico. All righty. Anything else? Um, you can get pennies from heaven in the 11th house. Venus is up there with Mercury and then Pluto. Uh, you could have a bit of a windfall strike coming through um, sometime at the end of the month, closer to New Year's Eve. Um, there is a new moon happening here with Hygieia on the 23rd, uh, healing something to do with your hopes, dreams, and wishes, eldest sibling relationship, or the, the healing around the get, great gain story from your career. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening. If you've got through this uh, and you didn't hit the like button yet and you're still on with me in a live premiere would you please finish strong with me and hit my like button it really helps the channel grow the algorithm listens to the like button and then tells youtube to show my video to new people i have a huge amount of you who return my returning viewership is increasing constantly and my subscriptions are going up you know, in general between 1500 to 2000 a month which is so exciting but i don't get that many new people lately in the last two months so that needs a lot of like buttons and comments from you guys to get youtube to begin to share me outside of the people who already know me um in order to keep the channel growing. So I would appreciate that like button hit if you're in the live premiere and check out my description box. You guys know the drill. I hope you all have an amazing December and, uh, and a wonderful seasonal holiday. Ciao to everyone. And it's getting dark here and I'm blurry because the light is gone. <laughs> ciao, ciao.